welcome to mojahir islam biology class today we are going to discuss about the life processes this is a chapter of class 10 biology what is life processes life processes means the essential processes sustaining for life these are the very very essential process for sustaining of life what are these the life processes which are very very essential are nutrition respiration circulation excretion control and coordination reproduction growth and development muscular movement everything these all are very essential process for sustaining of life so today we are going to discuss about the nutrition part here so what is nutrition nutrition means obtaining of food and conversion of this food whatever we take as a food we take it as a complex food so complex food has to convert into simple form so nutrition of ki lagibo nutrition is the process where obtaining of food as well as conversion of complex food into simple form is done so what is food basically ami je bila food long food ot ki thake the food contains nutrient different types of nutrients are there in food so nutrients e ki kore what is the importance of nutrients for us nutrients are required needed for growth and maintenance of life these are very very important for growth development and maintenance of life so what are the nutrients ki ki nutrients take basically food up so the basic nutrients which are available in our day to day food are carbohydrate carbohydrate boli kole ami ki buti pao glucose starch so what is the importance of carbohydrate the carbohydrate provide us energy so energy needed for each and every activity of our living system whatever happening inside our body it just require energy to do that so all the energy provided by the carbohydrate which is taken as food now the next nutrient is protein which is again very very important ingredient so what is the importance of protein protein provides us growth and development protein is a structural component of our body proteins code code pump muscle of protein thake bone of protein thake blood of protein thake antibodies which fights against the disease causing pathogens so antibodies are protein enzymes are protein hormones are protein to so protein is very very important next is fats fats also provide us energy and it is the stored form of energy whenever fats is got more and more energy required whenever carbohydrate or glucose is insufficient in our body then fat starts to degrade aro tar pore ami ki pam energy pam so fat store energy hisabe kaam kore apart from providing energy fat order amar body insulated hoy thake some vital organs like heart lungs liver etc e bila ko kushon hisabe fat che kaam kore so next is vitamins so vitamins very very important what is the importance of vitamin yes vitamins do not provide any calorific calorie they do not have any calorific value but work as coenzymes i mean enzyme er kotha janu so enzymes needed to catalyze each and every reactions of our living system amar body er bitor jiman bela chemical reactions hoye ache every great chemical reaction requires enzymes some enzymes cannot work alone they need some support and they need some cofactors 
and vitamins are the cofactor. Vitamins work as a coenzyme cofactor. So vitamin due to deficiency of vitamin, different type of disease occur. I mean, Danu, rickets. Rickets is the deficiency of vitamin D. It will, it will, our heart will be weak, hoy jai, bone weak, hoy jai. Scurvy, very common vitamin deficiency disease. Scurvy, kya hota hai? Scurvy is due to deficiency of vitamin C. Bleeding gum, swelling gum. Another common vitamin deficiency disease is pellagra. Pellagra due to vitamin deficiency of niacin. Niacin is a B group of vitamin. So vitamin or abhavat deficiency karane bohu bemar amar hoy. Next is minerals. Minerals are very very important component. These are the inorganic substances which cannot produce in our body. So, yeah, I mean, food or the pump. These are important for vital functions like muscle contraction. Muscle contraction or carne, calcium important, zinc important, copper important, stimulation of the nerve cell, tarkane important, water balance of the body, the minerals are important. So, minerals are very, very important nutrients of our food. And finally, the water. Water I mean, no, two third of our body. Water or drug, it is made up of water. So water, I mean, kiki come out water basically be water. What are the important functions that require more and more water? Digestion, digestion process or carne, water lagibo. Excretion, this is a vital life process which require more and more water. Circulation, circulation means we are talking about the blood, blood bony bone carne, water like you. So water is very very important component of our food. Now we are going to discuss about the moods of nutrition. Different organisms obtain food by different ways. So I mean, Kun organism can equal food of pain correct. The moods of nutrition, types of nutrition are required to discuss for you. Basically, there are two types of nutrition. Nutrition, moods of nutrition. Moods of nutrition. So basically, two types of nutrition are there. One is autotrophic nutrition. Autotrophic nutrition. Autotrophic and another is heterotrophic. So, what is autotrophic? Autotrophic nutrition means the organism can make their own food, make their own food. So, this is called these organisms are called autotrophs, and this type of nutrition obtaining food process is called autotrophic nutrition. Examples, yes, we know it, plant, some algae and some bacteria. So these are the organisms which can make their own food. These organisms can make their own food in two different ways. Like plant and algae as they are having chlorophyll and they use light energy, sunlight, sunlight and make their own food. So this type of nutrition is called photosynthetic, photosynthetic nutrition, photosynthetic nutrition. So example of photosynthetic nutrition is plant, the green plant, algae, etc. These. And another is they are also autotrophs, but they do not require light. They break down the organic matter organic matter they break down some organic matter and obtain food from there these are called chemo synthetic chemo synthetic chemo synthetic means breakdown of chemical to obtain energy so this type of organisms are basically bacteria the example is sulfur bacteria we have to remember the name sulfur bacteria so another bacteria nitrosomonas 
So these are autotrophs but chemosynthetic. And another type of nutrition is heterotrophic where all the animals, all the animals are there including human being, we are also there including human being, fungi etc. So these all are heterotrophs. That means these organisms depend on others for food depends on other for food so we cannot make our own food so this type of organisms can again be classified into different types so let us see what type of heterotrophic nutrition are there so types of heterotrophs heterotrophic nutrition heterotrophic nutrition type of heterotrophic nutrition the first of all is suppose saprophytic 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 means saprophytic means the organism which feed on dead and decaying matter dead and decaying matter some organisms are there which get energy which obtain energy from dead and decaying matter substances so these organisms, the examples of fungi, all fungi, they get energy food from the dead and decaying matter. So they are called saprophytes and their nutrition is called saprophytic nutrition. Another type of nutrition is parasitic, parasitic nutrition. So parasitic, in parasitic nutrition, some organisms uh, like uh, worms, uh, ascaris, that means the round worm, and the plasmodium, leeds, etc. These organisms get food from the other organism. They inhibit inside or outside the other organism which we call host. So they get energy, they get food from the other host organism, host organism, host organism. They get food from the other organism. At the same time, they cause some diseases causing diseases so this, that is why it is called parasitic and their nutrition is called parasitic ascaris we know this is the round worm that live inside our intestine and causes the ascariasis the disease is called ascariasis plasmodium we know the plasmodium is unicellular organisms so it causes the malaria so plasmodium is called malarial parasite finally another type of nutrition is holozoic nutrition holozoic nutrition so in this type of nutrition the organisms get take complex food complex food like us human being human being and all animals so human beings what we do we take complex food and the food has to be simplified food has to be broken down into simple form so that our body can absorb and utilize it so this type of nutrition is called holozoic nutrition holozoic nutrition means the food taken in a complex form fine again there are some steps of holozoic nutrition that means the nutrition of human being is what type? Holozoic nutrition. In what is holozoic nutrition? The complex food taken and the food has to be simplified, food has to be broken down so that our cell can absorb it or utilize it. So that is why in holozoic nutrition there are some steps. What are the steps of holozoic nutrition? Steps of holozoic nutrition. So in later section we will discuss this one uh, for a timing uh, I hope you understand what you were discussed so thank you come to my next session we will discuss the steps of holozoic nutrition thank you.